A Notion Personal CRM is a customizable system that allows you to manage and track your personal and professional relationships. It acts as a database where you can store and organize information about your contacts, including their details, nature of your relationship, interactions, notes, and reminders. It can be an invaluable tool for networking, job searching, or simply staying in touch with the people in your life. With this Notion Personal CRM, you can keep connected with friends, family, and business connections using the communication feature. Simply set how often you want to speak with people and Notion will tell you how long it's been since you've communicated with them. And as you can see here on the main dashboard, it's showing us some of the overdue people who we haven't reached out to and the frequency we would like to. Once you reach out to people in your system, you're going to select the communicated button and that's going to take them off the overdue list and reset them to reach out in future days. You're also able to keep track of important information such as birthday, email, phone number, what is their relationship to you and what is the relationship strength, social media accounts, their address. This is where you set the number of days you wanna reach out to the individual. So let's say that I want to reach out to Jane Smith every five days. If I go ahead and hit communicated on today, which is May 31st, it shows that I should be reaching back out to her in five days. For people, you can also have tasks, notes, events, and groups related. If you scroll down, you're able to see all this information in more detail. If you need information fast, you can ask Notion AI for it. So here I'm gonna ask, what is Jane Smith's birthday? And after a few seconds, you can see that Jane Smith's birthday is July 7th, of 1990. And you can also see that we have an event in our events database for Jane Smith's birthday party coming up. You can also download the Notion mobile app to access your data on the go. When on mobile, you can click on phone numbers or emails to communicate fast. You'll be able to visualize all of your data in calendar views and also have them in Notion calendar so that you can include your data with everything else that is going on with your life. For example, on this view of weekly communication events and tasks, we're on the communication tab here. So we can see on Sunday, we should be reaching out to Emily, Wednesday, reaching out to Jane Smith, and on Friday, reaching out to Michael Brown. You also have tasks and you can see who they're related to. And for example, this one is to schedule a meeting with Mark Lee. You can easily click move into in progress if you're starting the process of scheduling that meeting. And ultimately you can move it to complete once you've completed scheduling. Then you'll also have a weekly view of your events. And again, you can open a Notion calendar to see a full picture. As well in the databases, you can look at a full calendar monthly view. Now that I've quickly walked through some of the benefits of using this personal CRM, let's go ahead and create a person together and add some other data around this person. So to add a new person, I'm going to come up here to the button new person and select it. And for this example, I'm going to enter in my brother. So I'm going to put in Alex Taylor. He is a five star relationship to me. And by putting this five star relationship property in, it's going to allow me to group and better sort out who are the most important people that I should make sure that I'm always communicating with and keeping top of mind. For the tags, I'm going to put them in as family, but you could also put in people for multiple tags if you wish. So for my brother, I also consider him to be a friend. So I'm going to select family and friend so he shows up in both of those categories. So because my brother is a five-star relationship and I want to be reaching out to him frequently, let's set the frequency days at every three days for talking to him. Now, because we haven't marked the last time we communicate with him, it's not going to show a status, but let's say that we just sent him a text. I'm going to select the button communicated. And then just like that, it's telling me to reach out on June 3rd to talk to him again. Now let's say that actually the last time that we talked to him was on the 28th. You can see that it now says that the next communication date is on May 31st, which is today that I'm recording. And then if we were to move it back even one more day, it'll show that it's overdue by one day and populate here on the dashboard. Here, I'll go ahead and also enter in some data for his phone number, email, his birthday, and then I could enter his company, job title, and social medias, and so on. Because Alex is family, I want to add him to my family group so that he can be in the same group as my mom and dad. And then let's say that I want to create some notes about Alex. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select new note. And for this note, we're gonna come up with some gift ideas for Alex's recent promotion. So I'm gonna name the note Alex's promotion gift ideas. 
and we can utilize Notion AI to help us develop some ideas for them. So I'm gonna do slash AI, then I'm going to select brainstorm ideas, gift ideas for Alex's recent promotion to CEO. And there you go, the AI is finished, come up with some ideas. We could also ask it to continue to write and continue to come up with more additional ones for us. And once you're satisfied, you could also use Notion's AI keywords functionality to help you automatically group and create a summary of this note. Let's now click back into Alex. And when we scroll down, you can see that note here. And it'll group them by the most re recent notes that you've created on individuals and give you that AI summary so that you have to click into each one to kind of remember what you wrote about them. Let's say that we ultimately decided on getting Alex a vintage wine bottle. You can either come in here and select new task or you can come here and add here just to create a task related to Alex. So I'm gonna press this and then I'm going to say get vintage wine bottle and we're going to make that do a week from now and let's also set a reminder two days before so we don't forget and that will make it so notion gives us a notification i've already started researching some ideas online so i'm going to move this task status to in progress but ultimately once we've completed the task we move it to done and then we're also going to throw a party for alex's promotion so i'm going to create an event called alex's promotion party. And we're going to put the date for it on June 8th. Let's say that it's going to be at my house. We could put a tag of party and family gathering. If there's any attachments like a flyer or something like that, you could tie that here. We have Alex going, but let's say that we also have my friend Jane Smith attending. We could tie her there so we know that she's going. And we know that my family is going to be attending and some of my best friends will be attending as well. For any Anything that you need to do to prepare for this event, create them as tasks, or you can also create notes on brainstorming different food ideas for the event and how you wanna entertain people. Now, this is just an example of a family member, but you can use this for much more. Like I said, you can already use it for friends, but you could also use it for business colleagues, mentors, or any other type of tags that you would like to associate with people who are in your life. On top of the views, whenever you click into a record, as well as the views here on the main dashboard, you can also click into the databases themselves. And I've created several helpful views on each one of these for you to be able to identify key information. So for example, this is a view that allows you to see all of your five-star relationships. This one allows you to see them sorted by relationship from high to low, grouped by tags, whether they're business, family, friend, or any additional ones that you enter. Maybe you want to go through and find any of your contacts who are missing that frequency day. They would populate here if they didn't have a frequency day set. Missing email, missing phone number, missing birthday, and communication calendar, and so on. You can find those in each one of these databases, some helpful views to help you look through all of your data. I really hope that this resource is useful for you for making sure that you build on relationships in your life as well as become more organized. If you'd like more Notion templates like this in the future or would like to learn more about Notion through tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.